Hey, this is Kev with Blender Binge. In this video, we're going to be going over the Wave modifier in Blender 2.8, which isn't much different than the Wave modifier in most other versions of Blender, but that doesn't matter right now. What matters is we're going over it. So, here we go. So the first thing I'm going to do is we just have this regular scene here, you know, default with the cube. I'm going to go over here to my little wrench thingy, modifier, say add modifier, and hit wave. And now you see all these cool little options come up. And if you hit play right here on your little animation bar, or you hit space bar, you see I have a wave going. I have really not much of anything happening. It's it's kind of boring, right? It's, it's, it's kind of you're like, what, why, why the heck am I watching this video? This is like, this, this sucks. Right? I, don't, I don't like this. Well, that's because it's just taking these eight vertices here and it's just putting a sine wave on them and making them go up and down. It's really not dense enough to show you anything really cool. So I'm going to get rid of that and I'm going to show you the really cool thing. Okay. So watch this. Add mesh grid. Say add grid. Uh, I'm going to increase this to 100. I'm going to increase the size here to 10. And I'm going to click off of that because that's boring and we're done with that. Okay. Now, I now have this grid that's subdivided with a whole lot of different points. So watch what happens now. I go to modifier. I go under deform. I go to wave. Wow. Look at that. So if I hit, if I rewind that and I hit play now, ooh, interesting, right? Now it looks cool. Now it's like, wow, I'm I'm really happy I'm watching this video because like this is awesome and like I totally get it so that's wave now the really quick way to use this control motion for objects in the background of your animation right you want ripples in a pond good way to do it without doing you know crazy fluid simulation all right so here I'm gonna take these off I'll leave cyclic on and see now without X or Y on, I just get this up and down motion. Okay, it's a sine wave, just like we did with the boring cube thing in the beginning, right? If I turn on X, ooh, X without Y just gives me a ripple going in the X direction. Turn off X, turn on Y, I get going in the Y direction. Turn on both, they multiply together, and they give you both, right? Now, lastly in this section, we have cyclic. Turn that off, and it's just going to happen once. Boom. That's it. That's all you get. Being that we have cyclic turned off, I want to show you this. This time section here is kind of important. Offset is when on the animation timeline it begins. You can offset it by anything. So if I offset this to say 40, it's not going to start now until frame 40. Watch. I'm going to hit play. Nothing happens until frame 40. Boom. There it goes. Okay. Life is how long the simulation, how long this, this modifier pumps energy into that sine wave. So if I put life at 10, right, it will pump energy. It'll start at 40 and it'll pump energy into it until about frame 50. And then it'll release. Watch. It's 40, boom, and then it just dissipates, right? Because it's, it's, it stops putting energy into it 10 frames after, and it just kind of dissipates. Now, damping is how long that energy takes to dissipate. So if I put damping, right now it's at 10. If I put it at 1, you're going to see what happens here. It's going to just flick off. Watch. Hits at 40, boom, and then done. It just just flicks off because there's no energy. It's, it's saying at frame 50, you've stopped putting energy into it. And one frame after that at 51, you kill it. That's it. Damping here at frame, I don't know, I'll say 100, right? This will carry out all the way to the end of the animation. Go all the way out, boom. Okay, so damping is how long the energy lasts. And fall off is kind of like the shape of the sine wave. So, let me turn on cyclic to show you this, right? And I'll turn off life. 
life I'll turn I'll turn to zero which means it lasts forever and I'll show you this right and I'll take I'll take offset turn that to zero so watch this fall off is kind of how much that wave function kind of falls off as it approaches the end of its life so you can see here with a fall off like it's subtle fall off okay it was like six meters you still have like these are kind of pinned down you turn that fall off up and it affects the whole thing you turn that fall off to zero and it's basically infinite so there's like kind of a range in here that you play with and you can get different effects all right and it's based on the bit kind of based on the meters here of each unit so there's there's definitely a window that you work within and you'll find that when you're doing your simulation so that's fall off now if we go down here speed is how fast the animation goes so 0.25 that's pretty cool it's giving us a nice speed right if I go down to like 0.02 woo, right that's kind of cool right whoa right and if I go up to 100 rah! so now in addition to speed we have height which controls the height of our modifier and you can go really high two meters is high you can type in more or you can go all the way down and do less negative so that's controlling the height of our sine wave width simply controls how wide our sine wave is so a really wide one we get much less of a of an effect okay so we get a really wide wave here and if I take that down we get much more sine waves much more waves so width controls how many waves you're getting now narrowness if I put this out here and I take the height back down make this something normal to look at here narrowness is kind of how sharp that sine wave is the peak of the sine wave so you can go from narrowness of kind of pillow effect over here where it's very subtle to a really really sharp effect out here and you can see take my speed down right narrowness makes it sharp and width kind of increases how how wide the wave is and they all work together now the really advanced stuff over here is we can have the vertex group which we can say where we want it to happen so if I'm gonna take some of these vertex I'll make a vertex group so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit tab and I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, just select say this area right here hit control G assign a new group and now when I hit tab again I go back out of here and if I choose this vertex group and I go to group it's now only gonna happen in that area that I chose so you're totally just controlling where you want it all right that's vertex group and if you don't like that you just X out of there and it's back to normal lastly I want to show you here is start position and this position here all right so this position you can say kind of where you want this to start on the X and Y and it'll start from that position well that's all cool but like who the heck really wants to be going and doing all this like you can do it and get an exact match and you know try to guess or you could do it the cool way where we just go add empty and I'll add in a plane axis it's fine it just adds this kind of little crosshairs thing that doesn't render in here and now if I say start position and I choose the empty that I just made it snaps back and watch this if I take this empty okay if I go up here and I just select the empty and I move the empty watch what happens right I can now move this wherever I want I can control it just by moving this empty around 
So a really cool thing about this is that you can actually add some together and get different effects doing different things with different settings and all sorts of really crazy stuff happens. So you could just chain these together and get some really interesting effects. All right, so go in, play, have fun. And uh, if you got anything out of this video, hit like, subscribe, hit that little bell notification because I'm going to keep making more of these and you definitely want to see them. And uh, comment section's open. I encourage you to be nice. But if you have any questions, let me know and I'll do my best to answer. Thanks. Talk to you later. See you in the next video. Bye.